Hey everybody, what's going on? Josh here with Scrapyard Films, and today I'm going to show you a quick video on how to add social media buttons to your Mix Play interactive menu on your Mixer stream. Now, I've done a lot of the basics already and covered them in a previous video series on how to make interactive buttons and menus, so I'm not going to go into the details of where we're at, just how to do it. If you want to look at the details of how to get all of it set up, then you can go in the description and look at that video series below. So let's get started. On our Mixer main page, I have my overlay enabled and I have buttons, main menu, casual viewer, patron room, donation button, and I want to add a social media button right here. Maybe like a couple social media buttons, maybe like Twitter, Instagram, YouTube, something like that. And if they click them, then it will chat them and whisper them a link on where to go to it. I haven't found a way to make the buttons actually redirect them to a different URL yet, but if you do, let me know, that'd be awesome. If not, this seems like it's the next best bet. So first thing to get started, we wanna to go to the top right and select our account, and then middle click on your mouse, the click wheel if you have one, and depending on your browser, Dev Lab, and it'll open up in a new tab. Go to Mix Play Projects, and then choose the project you're using. I'm gonna do Tutorial, and then go to Build at the top left. And then we're gonna see our menu right here with all of our buttons. The bare bones kind of deal a bit. So we wanna add a social media button. So let's start with YouTube. We're gonna do new button and we're gonna call it YouTube. Hit add. And since I'm gonna be using a picture for this, I don't want it to have any text. So I'm just gonna put a space. We don't need it to have a spark cost cause that's also gonna produce a little spark image cost in the center of the button itself. So I'm gonna leave that blank. Tool tips will be like scrap yard films YouTube page. And then that's it for right there. Now, if you want to add a picture for this, which it's really recommended to do because it makes you look way more professional, um, you would want to go to an image hosting website of your choice. I use Imager this is where I upload all my stuff and I'm going to select my YouTube icon that I created. The direct link. Copied it. Go back to Mixer and I'm going to paste it in background image. Then I'm going to hit X and that saves it. Now we want to drop it onto our scene. We do that right there. Let's make it a perfect square because I make my I made my icons perfect squares. And then let's also make a couple more. Let's do Twitter. Add. And then let's also make Instagram. Add. So go back to my imager and I'm going to do Twitter. Copy my direct link. Open up the menu to the right. Paste it in background image. Click the X and that saves it. Instagram, same thing, click it, drag link, mixer, arrow to the right. Then we want to do text, a space, so it doesn't have anything and it won't yell at you for not having anything. Background image, control V, X. And then in Twitter, I forgot to change the name, so we're going to add text, hit a space, and then it's going to have nothing. Hit the X, and then we're good to go. So now we have YouTube, we have Twitter. And then we have Instagram. Then we hit save. And now let's go back to Firebot. So in Firebot, what we want to do is disconnect if you are connected to it. We're going to do change board, resync board, and that adds our buttons right here. YouTube, Twitter, Instagram. We want to edit these. If we go to YouTube, we want it to have a cooldown of like, I don't know, five seconds, something like that. Just so people aren't spamming it, because this is going to put a message in chat for everybody to see. So we'll do five seconds. Let's add a new effect. And we're gonna do chat. And we're gonna chat as a bot. And we're going to whisper to a user, whoever clicked it. So we're gonna show the variables down here. Cause we don't wanna just, we're not gonna know who's gonna click this button. So with this variable, we go to general and we type dollar sign user. Basically, whoever clicks that button is filled in this user spot and that's who the bot's gonna whisper to. Send message, Scrapyard Films YouTube page is, and there we go. So it's going to whisper this to this user. So once you're done with that, hit save, and then that is pretty much good right there. Now what you can do, a cool thing with Firebot is if you click these three dots next to this play button, we can copy all the effects. Well, let's hit save, and then go to Twitter, hit the three arrows, 
paste all effects. And then we can do our cooldown five seconds. Look in this chat, and all we gotta do is change a couple things around. Twitter is twitter.com slash films to user. Hit save. Now they're gonna be redirected to Twitter. Hit save changes. Instagram, same thing. We can click the little dots after we hit edit and then we hit paste. Chat, change this. IG. Instagram. And then I have a little dot in mine. Hit save, hit save. Oh, my bad, go back to edit. Cool down, five seconds. Save. And then we go down to the bottom left and then reconnect it to Mixer. Let's minimize this, go back to Mixer. And there are social media buttons. If we click this, let me move this over to the right. If we click YouTube, Scrapyard Films bot, whispers to Scrapyard Films, Scrapyard Films YouTube pages, this, and then it hyperlinks it. Twitter, and you see we have a cooldown going on. And does the same thing. Twitter page is this. Instagram page is this. And that's it. Very simple. Easiest way to add social media buttons to your mix play project for Mixer. And that's going to wrap it up for this video. If that helped you out, be sure to throw a like and subscribe because that'll really help me out. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Just a heads up, these are my current patrons. They all support me for a dollar a month. It's very cheap and you can too. And don't forget to subscribe and click that little bell notification next to the subscribe button because that notifies you whenever I pump out a new video. And if you're the first person to comment on the video, you get a special shout out in my next video. So thanks again for watching.